What's your opinion on the late mark? So what do you mean by the late marks? The lack thereof, the ability for the students to hand in their assignments late and have no punishment whatsoever. Okay, I'm not I'm not a proponent of it. I uh, I think in order for students to be successful, there have to be consequences when they don't fulfill the expectations. And right now, I don't think that we have strong enough consequences for the work to be done correctly and ultimately for the student to be successful. So it's, it's, it's a struggle. Um, I, I think there could be some consequences that differ from taking late marks off, except right now I don't think we have a firm grasp as to what those consequences are that will act as enough of a deterrent for kids to do the work correctly the first time. Because ultimately that's what, we're, that's what we want, right? So if, that's why I think late marks worked before was because students knew what the deterrent was, they didn't want to lose marks, so they got their stuff in on time. I find that we're struggling more with that now. Very much a coach here at the Bill. Does this give your hockey players an advantage since they're missing so much class for their hockey? Uh, I don't know that it gives them an advantage, but it, it, it leads to that same problem, is that they may not necessarily be, be fulfilling what they have to do in their, in their academic subjects. And at the end of the semester, it may mean that they're actually unsuccessful in achieving their credit, as opposed to before where they had strict guidelines to meet and, and realize what was gonna happen if they didn't hand it in. I think now there's more, more of an attitude that they can just get it done when they get it done, but sometimes they're still not getting it done, right? As before, they would they would lose marks and they would know what the ultimate deadline is. Now that's less written in stone, so now I think a lot of them are taking advantage of it that probably is ultimately gonna hurt them in getting their credit. So I don't know that's an advantage for them. It's, I think actually it is harder for them to meet their, to meet their expectations of whatever course they're taking. The removal of late marks, how has your job changed? Well, because I have two jobs, because I'm guidance and I'm student success. In guidance, I have noticed that a lot more kids become very anxious because they leave things thinking that they have time to complete them, and then when they don't have time to complete them, it really does create a lot of stress and anxiety and sometimes crying and sometimes depression. Like it's kind of difficult for people because the ones who get late marks are generally the ones who aren't great at time management in the first place. So this is kind of almost in a way supporting them in having poor time management. How do you feel about the removal of late marks? The removal of late marks, well, um, I feel like it benefits me in the short term, but I, I know that in the long term it is gonna affect everyone and uh, it, it definitely uh, is gonna affect uh, work ethic. Um, it's really not going to make people want to hand anything in uh, on time because they never had to in high school. But Do you think it would be better to learn now to get things in on time where you still have some flexibility with your deadlines or have to learn the harsh way when you get into the workforce? Hmm. Well, as a 16 year old right now, I would have to say that I'm benefiting from it too much to say that I wouldn't want it, but uh, yeah, I, I guess in the workforce, it would be way more beneficial for high schools to have late marks still. Lack of late marks affected your students' overall mark and both their work ethic. Work ethic. I, I'm not sure if it's affecting the overall mark, but I do think it's affecting the work habits. Um, and my concern is that as we move forward, that this is going to carry over. Into, into the workforce and into the real world and it may be really hard on students when they get to university. I look at myself in high school and I was never a great student necessarily but I learned a few things like you always go to class, you always hand things in on time, you treat your teachers well and that gets you a long way and, and I was able to make it through university because I had the, I had the proper work habits and skills. To your job as a principal here at school? Well, unlike a classroom teacher, which is, you know, right on the ground, face to face with students and with parents, it's impacted 
um, the office in a, in a number of ways. Um, first of all, the main thing is just trying to get people used to the whole concept of, of late marks for penalties. And one of the things that our board is trying, based on a great deal of um, research, is that late marks um, are, uh, the grand scheme of things, are no incentive for students to get their work done. That it just becomes another punitive thing that has to be tracked and recorded. And it's not really, you know, getting the, the results that we would have wanted in the first place. Penalties are not going to improve a student's work habits. They're just going to not do the work. Okay. Yeah. Just one last question sure. on a point you made earlier. Yeah. You said that if you have someone who has a whole bunch of good marks and one bad mark because something happened outside happens, mm -hmm. right? But wouldn't it not be easier just to deal with that one and they can get an extension for maybe one instead of giving this wide range of times you can just skip your deadline, not skip your deadlines, you have to push it. Would not just be easier to deal with that when it comes up than have it a school-wide policy? No. The reason I say that, our teachers teach. They haven't, to, to spend the time watering the rocks, in other words, if you water rocks, it's not going to grow. You want to spend your time effectively. I don't want teachers to spend their time calculating late marks. Spend your time teaching. Spend your time doing formative assessment. Spend your time working with kids doing this rather than, okay, it's been late one day, but we count the weekend, so it's 5% per day, but three days on a leap year, da 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 And it's pretty crazy. So sometimes it's like, where are we going to spend our energy? Because like I said, we have to wait for them to get it in. We also have to wait before we can give stuff back. Because let's say Riley does a hand in a summative, but everybody else does. I can't return it and take it up until he gives it to me. And that's what I would normally do. Right? So a little bit of feedback is probably delayed. So in a way, it does hurt some students in a way because they're waiting for results or whatever.